Gate drops. Who's it going to be? 27, that was Cavatorta up the inside, the Italian. But already we've got one or two on the deck. The British rider Jeremy Watley being one of them, but it's Joel Smets. Smets it is on the Vertamati. Round two of the World 500 Series comes to Austria and Sittendorf. The machine gets underway. Here they come. 500 cc two strokes and 600 cc plus four strokes. It's Franco Rossi, the Italian number 15. Mervyn Anstey and Jörl Smets on the drop Vertomati. There's Martin. But Anstey second holding off Schmetz on the Vertomati. Hansen going through Rudy van Lerwin. And there is the defending champion Martins. But it was Schmetz that came through and took the win. Martins chased through to take second. gets underway. Marcus Hansen, the Swede, took third in race one. And here they go into that first corner. And it is Hansen from Schmetz. And Schmetz has picked up some trackside tape. That'll wrap around his rear wheel. Van Ash in Switzerland, but it's Schmetz on the drop Bertamati that leads from Schmetz. First of the two big four strokes going through. Martin's now up to second. They really are dominating here today at Sittendorf. One and two in the first race, and it looks like they're going for the same in race two. Schmetz puts the power down, hangs on. But Schmetz went on then to win race two. Jackie Martins chased him home in second, third, it was Ziggy Barra. of the championship comes to Bally Kelly here in Ireland and a beauty five that's Van Dorn 99 Billy Lyles on a changing machine now joining the 99 he's got Schmetz right behind him on the drop for Tomati and there's Martins Van Dorn then it is Schmetz and Martins are right behind him settling down into the pace of race one Martin's looking for a one. second then for Joel Smets taking 17 and James Marsh well that's a good one for him he's got Schmetz and Hansen behind him Hansen goes to second then Schmetz third back behind Schmetz and third it should be Yule Schmetz on that drop Vertomati. <laughs> Round four of the World 500 Motocross Championship and circuit conditions here absolutely excellent a deep sand circuit here in Shropshire as Yule Schmetz on the Vertomati leads the riders out onto the line Jackie Martins there number one the defending champion out second. Wilson, then three. Schmetz on the second of the big four strokes. Gives on desperately to second place, but now being closed down by Schmetz. But Martins is a man on a mission. Wants to retain that championship for 1994. And it looks like Schmetz has found a way past Carlo Hulson. Indeed he has. Hulson goes down to third. Van Lerwin, the track considerably and the second four stroke man goes through that still Schmetz many a Grand Prix rider over the years and has claimed many a rider including a few world champions second Yule Schmetz and third it looks like Carlo Hulson Well, with heat one, safely away, Martin's taking the win, Schmetz second. 
And Carla Houston third. There is Olsen, 23, with Marcus Hamill. More difficult than it was before. Schmitz, he's second. Third is Hansen. Famous and infamous throughout the years. A circuit known by many a rider. Schmitz on the second of the four strokes, trying to catch him. Did another lap. Here's Schmitz. Already passing back markers. And the 500 series continues. And Joe Bay and Marcus Hansen now from Schmitz. So positions are changing. Christian Vernon there, the British rider, based and races mostly in Belgium. Number 43, so four, Marcus Hansen takes the challenge at the front from Schmetz. And the former world champion, Georges Jobet, won it in 1992. And really beginning to set this championship alight. Three, Schmetz on that Bertomati. Then it's Jobet, then Burnham. This is a good ride from the uh, Britishman. Schmetz now first. But that Husqvarna looks very, very loose. Jacket flag then for Joel Schmetz and now becoming quite a traditional sight, doing a wheelie at the end. And Martins comes through, but minus that rear tailpipe. <laughs> Slovakia, and a very wet Slovakia it is as well. <laughs> to France as the riders make preparation for the start of Heat 1. Joel Smets then, down onto the line with Daryl King from New Zealand and Marcus. And it's James Marsh, 39, the Englishman, who's got a tremendous start. Unbelievable. Well, that's got to be the best gate that Marsh has had this season so far. He's got Billy Lyles, Hanson and uh, Daryl King behind him. But James Marsh, well, I don't know what he had for breakfast, but whatever it was, don't share it with the rest. Schmetz is there. 18 going through. That's Pink Noti. There's Gherkins and Jakobs 34 at the moment. There's Hansen, Schmetz, and Lyles. And there is the defending champion, Jackie Martins. Not a good start for him. Well, Daryl King, Chris Hansen. First of the four strokes. Schmetz on the Vertimati. Chasing second, Smets can't do anything about those two in front. It's a very fast track here in France. That's 17 points, 15 points for the Belgium, Joel Smets. <laughs> Heat two then, and Daryl King, winner of Heat one, way, way down. Schmetz fighting his way through from that start fall and oh, he's gone down again. Front wheel washed out, put a little bit of too much power in the back wheel and that was that. Dumps the Vertimati on the floor, it is Marcus Hansen then. The round nine then here in Portugal and Jackie Martins unable to get to the top of the championship. He's displaced Schmetz, he now has Second in the championship, Smets is down to third. Daryl King, a non-starter here. He's broke a sternum. Ins are prepared for the start of Heat 1. Joel Smets, as we said, now third in the championship because Martins has moved up just one place, chasing that elusive leader Martins. But Thaber's the man that's keeping... There's Schmetz. Well, that's a bad start for Schmetz. And still racing. There's Schmetz. He's dropped down just a little bit. Happy with things at the moment as he winds that Vertimati up around this Portuguese track. Then it's Smets. Where's Martins? That's the question we've got to ask. There's Worcester the Rod. There's Martins. Back on results through the season so far. At last, the British are beginning to breed more than just a small handful of top 500 CC class riders. Herman Anstey, Jeremy Watley, two of our top 500 boys, but we've got some new ones coming through, which is really great to see. And it is Schmetz. The Vertimati four-stroke riders found a way past 
Hansen on the Honda, then it's Martins third, then Ustenrad fourth. They're claiming some victims at the moment as far as the rear wheel breakups are concerned. Smets, he leads. Hansen still second, and it's Martins on that thundering Husqvarna that's third. Now, can he find a way again past Hansen? Well, we'll see. Smets has taken the win. It was Martins then second, and Hansen finished third. From Luxembourg, and no change at the top. Still Marcus Hansen that leads the championship from Jackie Martins and Joel Smets. 78 comes down onto the line. Whoa, I can't. Mervyn Anstey it is that got the whole shot. Jackie Martins was second, trying to pick her. That's Peter Dirks. And look at this, Joel Smets already retired with a broken rear wheel. He changed the wheel and came back out on the circuit, but he's not in the points. Four, Martins. Whoa, we're trying to sort these ones out. There's Schmetz. He's got Delapine on the inside of him. <music> Round 11 of the 500 World Championship comes to the famous Citadel circuit of Namur here in Belgium. He won, gets underway. Number four, Marcus Hansen sweeps around the inside. Jackie Martins it is from Joel Smet that took the lead in heat two and then it was Smets, then Martins, but it was Smets that took the win and the 20 points. Second for Jackie Martins. So the two Belgians finishing one and two. And Hansen finished third, but Smets, the winner. In Germany, Just a few points difference. There's Smets, Anstey on the inside. This is the last round. This is the electrifying round. Who's going to be world 500cc championship in champion, I should say, in 1994-95? There is the potential contender. Been off the bike. Marcus Hansen damaged his helmet, cut his face, but it is Martins that leads. Christian Vernon on the inside. Well, there's a big heap. Who's amongst them? Oh, it's Martins. Van Dorn was there as well. They're even on points, Hansen and Martins. Whoever finishes in front of whom in this last race is world 500cc champion of that Husqvarna. But it's Schmetz. Joel Smets that leads the race. And there goes Smets. He wins the last race of the year.